What's up buttercups? My name is Shane and I'm so excited today because today's video is actually a collaboration with a good friend of mine. Her name is Fatima. We decided to do a day to night look. I would do gold looks and she would do silver looks. So maybe if gold is not your thing, go check out her channel. She is a, oh, she's so sweet. She's an amazing person. She's like the sweetest soul that I have ever met. So her channel and her video will be the first couple of links down in the description so please 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 make sure to check her out but yeah so today I am doing first a daytime look including my daytime hair and then we'll do a nighttime look that you see now with nighttime hair so if you want to see how I recreated these looks then please keep watching after moisturizing my face I'm gonna prime my face using Kat Von D's Lock It Featherweight Primer With the damp beauty blender, I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation in the color Light 46. For concealer, I like using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes in that triangle formation and then on the high points of my face. And of course, blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to set my concealer using my Airspun Translucent Powder. For the daytime look, I'm not going to go too heavy with contour, but I am picking up my Cocoa Contour Palette by Too Faced. Picking up this medium cocoa shade on an angled brush, I'm just going to sweep this on the contour points of my face. For blush, I'm going to take this Milani Powder Blush in the color Romantic Rose and just very lightly sweep it onto my cheeks. Next I went ahead and filled in my brows. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to first prime it using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Using my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay, I'm going to take this first shade called Foxy and pack this on from my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Next, taking a fluffy crease brush, I'm going into this color called Tease and I'm going to simply sweep it back and forth in my crease. Next, I'm going into this coppery color called Chopper and I'm going to pack it on my inner half of my lid. Using that same brush and this time going into the color called Suspect, I'm going to pack this on the outer half of my lid. Where the two colors meet in the middle, I'm going to take a little bit of this gold color called Half Bake and plop it right in the middle of my eyelid. With no extra product on that fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to go back and forth in my crease one more time to blend everything out. To line my eyes, I'll be first making the wing using my Hard Candies Walk the Line Liquid Liner. To make the look a little bit more of a wearable daytime look, I'm taking this small dense brush in this black color called Blackout. I'm going to finish off the rest of my line using just the eyeshadow. Apply two coats of mascara to both your top and your bottom lashes. You can absolutely skip lashes for the daytime look, but I always love to wear my fake lashes. I'm wearing our Ardell Wispies. While my eyelashes are drying, I'm going to move on to lips. I'm going to first line my lips using my Palladio Lip Liner in the color Raspberry. And then I'm going to top that off with my Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Bow and Arrow. So that completes our daytime makeup New Year's look, so let's move on to hair. 
So you might be wondering why I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> well, it, it was concealing and help setting all these really, really loose curls. So I had gone through with my Numi wand and curled each little individual piece of hair into a tight curl and I bobby pinned them. So you can see me taking out all of the bobby pins and I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through the curls to break them up a little bit. But I also curled my extensions, which I will clip in as well. Alright, now time for the nighttime look. I'm going to first start by taking off these eyelashes because I want to replace them with bigger and more glamorous lashes, but this is also going to help if we use a little bit of eyeshadow, our lashes aren't going to be, uh, aren't going to get super dirty. Alright, time to make this nighttime look pop. I'm going to first take this Ultra Pearl Mania NYX pigment in the color yellow gold and I'm going to pack this entirely on the lid. Then I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush with nothing on it and just sweep that back and forth in the crease a little bit. Taking a dense dome brush, I'm going to go back into our Naked 2 palette, picking up the color Busted. I'm going to work this into our crease. Using the fluffy side, I'm going to blend that out very lightly. Next I'm going to pick up this MAC pigment called Old Gold. So we can break up the gold on our eyelid a little bit so it's not so gold. I'm going to pack this pigment on the outer half of our lid. I'm going to reline my eyes but this time using entirely the liquid liner to give it a more dramatic look. Taking that same MAC pigment, I'm going to sweep it very, very lightly on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that gold pigment and concentrate it on my inner tear duct area. intensify the look even further, I'm going in with a small detail brush in that blackout color and I'm going to define my outer V on my upper lid and I'm also going to drag a little bit on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Make sure you blend that out. I'm going to take a little bit of Foxy one more time and just highlight underneath my brow bones, just making it a little more intense. I'm going to once again add one more coat of mascara to my bottom and top lashes. And for lashes, instead of the wispies we used for the first look, this time I'm going to use these really full, really dramatic lashes, also from Ardell. 
While I allow my lashes to get tacky, I'm going to move on to the face. Now, since this is a more glamorous look, I kind of want to accentuate my features a little bit more. So, taking my Carly by Bell palette and a thick fan brush, I'm going to go into these two. They're highlighting colors, but they're a little bit dark, so I'm going to take these two colors and sweep it back and forth where I contour just to make it a little more stand out-ish. Taking a moment to pop on my now tacky lashes. Alright, while my lashes dry, we're moving back onto the whole contouring and highlighting deal. So since I intensified my contour, I don't want to not highlight. So for highlighting, I'm taking a smaller fan brush and I'm going into these two lighter highlighting shades and I'm going to highlight the tops or the high points of my face. To even further highlight and add a little bit more glitter, I'm taking this Naked Illuminated Powder in the color Aura and I'm just going to go right over where I just highlighted. Now I'm going to give you two options for the lips. Option one, you can leave on the lipstick that we did for the first look. I actually really, really enjoy this combination with this eye. I feel like it goes really, really well with gold. But if you don't like the matte finish, you can also achieve this look by using cream in your coffee from MAC. Or you can go with a classic red lip. So I have MAC Red here and I'm going to go right over the lipstick to give me that red That is it for our nighttime makeup, so let's move on to nighttime hair. For my hair, I purposely curled it the way I did because for New Year's, I'm actually going to pin it up. And the look is very, very easy to do. You're just going to need some bobby pins. So I'm simply going to gather my hair into almost a poof at the top. And then I'm just going to clip the rest back and then play with it until I get something that I'm happy with. By the way, you're more than welcome to tease up the back of your hair if you're a big fan of that like I am. A tip for you guys is to not try to clip it all back at once, but what I like to do is just take kind of pieces of my hair and then bobby pin it in the back. I ooh, white balance. I feel like you have more control of the style and you can play with it a little bit more if you do it that way instead of all at once. Thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a big thumbs up this took so much work and i'm so happy with the way that both looks came out but you can also subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos i vlog every single day except for fridays where you get a special video and every monday you get a makeup tutorial this week was just a little bit wonky but i hope that whatever you're doing on new year's you have a really happy and a safe new year's and i am so looking forward to 2016 i feel like 2016 is going to be another great year for my channel i hope to connect with more of you guys and I hope to produce some more great content. So until the next video, I'll see you guys next year. Bye!